Bahamas Air executives are denying claims that a privatization process is underway. This is after union members asserted that they were left out of the discussions. Arjun Anuel Ferguson sat down with Managing Director Henry Woods. I've had no discussion, have not been involved with any, the board or the government, with any discussions on privatization of Bahamas Air. And as Managing Director of the National Flag Carrier, Henry Wood says, he would be one of the first to know. In fact, Wood says... As a shock, uh, because I'm not aware of uh, any plan um, underway uh, as regards to privatizing Bahamas Air. But union executives representing Bahamas Air employees claim that a Chinese company is interested in purchasing that airline. Union members have insisted that a privatization process is already underway without their input. But Wood says not so fast. I support the privatization view, if only partially. If only from the concept of strategic partnership, uh, not fully. But that, that has to come someday. We can't avoid it. While he refuted claims that Bahamas Air is under a privatization process, Managing Director Henry Woods told our ZNS News team that they are looking to streamline the organization as they have been given a mandate to reduce costs by 10% on an annual basis. Put us bluntly that we must reduce the costs because the country cannot afford to subsidize Bahamas Air to the tune of $25 million every year. That management was considering uh, offering early retirement packages to individuals over 55 years of age. They've done an excellent job of reducing the headcount through attrition. And it may be that um, that's the way we'll continue to go if we don't get great response, much response from the early retirement effort. About 90 employees of Bahamas Air currently fall under that category. In the meantime, he says they are working to increase revenue by introducing new routes and improve the quality of their product as they work to survive in a competitive market. Cost of labor to Bahamas Air today is 42% of revenue. As long as our cost structure is what it is, we will, we will remain in the hole. Janana Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.